Hey guys, good afternoon to you all. Happy Monday. So I am back to deliver a message from the Lord. Um, it is coming from some dreams that my daughter had last night and also a situation that occurred last night. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is probably may have to break this up into two parts. We'll see how it goes. Um, I really didn't want to make two videos, but if it turns out to be longer than I want it to be, then I might have to go ahead and make it into uh, two videos, okay, two parts. So we're going to talk about these dreams, and I'm going to give you the message the Lord wants me to give to you guys, and then I'm also going to read some scriptures the Lord wants me to read with you guys as well. Okay, so let's start here. Um, anyone that has followed me for any length of time, whether these people are lurkers, stalkers, uh, people who had just been watching me, trying to see my uh, progress. Uh, whoever these people are for who, who has watched me for a very long time know that I am a praying woman. I don't just pray for social media, okay? I have prayed for years. I pray all the time. I pray all day. And my the way the Lord deals with me on certain things is... Um, I'll know when the Lord wants me to share certain things. I'll know what's not shareable because he'll either speak it to me or I'll go through things in my body to let me know, go and to let me know, stop. So many people who have been following me know that, you know, this is how God works with me. Okay. I also uh, have a relationship with the Lord that I'm not ashamed of. Okay. I have a uh, gotten access to him on another level through my years of uh, obedience and my years of denying myself and my years of just uh, being in relationship with him, okay? And um, I'm not going to hide anything that God is doing in me or through me. If I had it my way, I probably would not be on social media. Because one, there's too much going on on social media, okay? There's a lot of warfare. There's a lot of uh, different things that are, are taking place uh, on social media. And if I had had it my way, I just would have never chose to come on social media, to be honest with you. Uh, everyone has different levels of things that they go through spiritually. And some people, a uh, level of Spiritual things that are happening are greater because what they are called to do, what they are chosen by God to do. Okay, so not everybody understands spiritual things. I get it. I get it. I understand that. Hopefully by following me, uh, you'll get you'll gain more understanding of the things that are happening in the spiritual realm. But the Lord wants me to let somebody know that you cannot defeat uh, a full-time devil having a part-time mentality when it comes to Christ. You cannot defeat him that way. Okay. Um, a lot of these people are truly, you know, a lot of these witches and warlocks, they're doomed for hell. If they don't repent and if they don't stop what they are doing, they are actually doomed for hell, says the Lord. Okay. So, whew, y'all listen. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, Lord. And the other thing the Lord wants me to share with somebody today is I didn't just get here. I've been around here for quite some time. For quite some time. I've been in spiritual warfare for many years. Okay, and God has had to allow certain things to occur and take place so that it could build me up. Because what is the saying? Newer levels, newer devils, which is very true. And whatever God has called you to, especially if it's really high up there, you are going to be met with countless ongoing warfare all day, every day. It, it's just the way that it is. It's just the way that it is. If Satan feels that you are a threat to hell, he's going to come at you any kind of way. Okay. Any kind of way that he can come at you uh, to try to get you to either slow down, stop, or to get you to give up. He's going to do it over and over again, which is why you need to have a prayer life, which is why you need to be seeking God 24 seven. 
okay? Which is why you need to live a life uh, disciplined to God, sold out to God. You just really need to go all in because you, you cannot defeat the devil without God. It is impossible. Okay, during the course of time, during our warfare time, we've had that, you know, we've had so much hard spiritual warfare. The enemy literally tried to take us up out of here, out of this rim. You understand what I'm saying? And that can happen for people who do not understand uh, this type of thing. That can actually happen. Think about it. If people can uh, do voodoo, witchcraft, and... um black magic and work spells on you and everything. And you can feel it in your body. Some people have, uh, when they have had spell work done on them, they have dealt with migraines, headaches, sickness in their bodies, uh, different types of, uh, confusion in the mind and all of this kind of stuff. If they can do that, they can certainly take your spirit out of your body, out of this room, which will basically mean that you're out of here. You're dead. Okay, they can actually do that. So, um, when you know certain things, when you know certain things, you handle certain things differently. Okay, you handle certain things differently when you know certain things. So, this is what the Lord also wanted me to share with somebody. Um, I've known that I've been called and chosen for a long time. I've had many personal encounters before coming on to social media. Okay. I had one where I had was going out of town and I had a, a pastor. This was my son is 14 now. So 14 years ago, this particular situation happened. And the man of God had was around about in his seventies at the time. He was, he was going to a conference and I was looking for a place to live. And, um, I was on the baby aisle looking for some baby food for my son who was still a little fat little baby at the time. Oh my God, I miss those days, but I was looking for baby food and the man come on the aisle and just started randomly talking to me. And I was like, what in the world? And I do believe this may have been the first encounter like this that happened. But after that encounter, there are many other encounters that I have had. Okay. Throughout the course of my life. So this particular man had, you know, prophesied to me. He had told me that he was on his way to a uh, conference. I believe it was in Myrtle Beach that he was going. He was going to a conference there. And um, and he told me, you know, some things about myself, some things that God was going to do. He also told me some things about the person that I was with, that I was not going to be with them. God was removing them. Okay, this man prophesied so many things to me. I mean, my mouth dropped. I was in shock. I was totally in shock. And I mean, there's probably other incidents before him. Maybe I didn't. Well, you know, I did have a couple, a few other incidents before that that have occurred, but I'm not going to go into all of that uh, stuff that was letting me know that God had called and chose me. So um, let's see, there's another situation where there was a well-known prophet that was in a, a restaurant where I was eating. And during this time, you know, this guy that I had, I was interested in, I, I knew that we were, he was not for me. I knew this guy was not somebody that I would talk to. And so I was there to let him know, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't date or anything any longer because I knew he wasn't even at that time. Um, and the prophet, when the guy got up and walked off to the restroom, the prophet turned around and said he had a word for me. And he was on a date. He was on a date with a young lady. And he said, I have a word for you. Do you mind if I speak to you? And I was like, what in the world? So I got up out of my seat. And when I got up out of my seat, the man literally looked like he saw a ghost. And instantly he went from there saying everything that the Lord was saying to me. Okay. And he basically let me know that I could not date down. I could not marry down. There's no way I would be able to make it out here with what I carry, marrying somebody below me or dating down. And believe it or not, I still made a mistake. <laughs> Many years ago, I tell this all the time. I still made a mistake and went low and the Lord had to remove that person. Okay. So listen, when God has a call on your life like that, um, if you are connected to the wrong people, 
it is you're not number one, you're not going to flow the way you need to flow because you have a lot of people that are going to try to stunt your growth. They're going to try to control the way in which God is using you. And so you have to have people that are on your same level, uh, that you guys are in agreement, uh, to be around you because you don't need people around you that are going to try to hinder or block the, uh, what God is doing in your life. So let me go, let me go on and get to, uh, what happened, what occurred last night. So last night I was praying. The Lord was telling me he wanted me to pray. Now I'm praying all the time. I'm praying 24 hours a day. I'm with God 24 hours a day. I can't speak on what other people do or, you know, I'm not here to judge what type of relationship somebody else has. I'm just saying you need to have one. Somebody else's relationship may not be on the level that I have my relationship with him on. Okay. But that's my, the way I have my relationship with him has nothing to do with anybody else is personal. It's personal. This is between me and God. And that's what I want somebody to know. Don't allow people to make you feel bad about the strength of your bond with God. If you got it, you got it. It's nothing to shy away from. It's nothing to, you know, hide away from anybody. If you got it, you got it. You put in the time for that. And I'm hearing the Lord say, flaunt what he gave you. You put in the time for that. Okay. He didn't uh, build you up and, you know, get you uh, away from everybody to empower you and strengthen you for you not to give back to the world what he's placed in you. Okay, so if somebody only prays for 15 minutes a day, God bless them. If somebody only uh, uh, meditates on the word of God here and there, God bless them. Uh, if somebody don't read the Bible or if somebody uh, just chooses to worship or whatever, whatever they do, that's their private relationship with God. But if it's not yours, don't try to make, don't try to bring yourself down or dummy yourself down because of what somebody else got going on. Okay, because... You are going to be judged by what you're doing and what you have with God. Okay. That's what's going to be judged, what you got going and what you have with him. Not what the next man or woman have going on. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, get into what happened again. Every time I try to move by, by, the Lord gives me more to talk about. My hands are getting on fire right now. Woo! Glory be to God. Okay, God is, so, oh, he's so good. Okay, so last night I was praying. The Lord spoke to me and said, I want you to go over here. I want you to see somebody. So I went to go looking for who God was showing me. And when he showed me this person, he said, this person is watching you. I was like, what? He said, this individual is watching you. And um, you need to pray against what it is that they're doing. So I went to pray and I started to pray about their eyes to be blinded from seeing what's going on in my home and in my life uh, for what the things that God is doing in my life to be protected for the blood of Jesus to cover me and my children uh, for confusion to go in that person's direction when they're trying to monitor me. Uh, I started going in when I say I went in. Everything the Lord told me to say, I spoke it. I prayed it last night. And around one o'clock after I had finished this prayer session, I got up to go do something. And my daughter got up. It won't even 10, 15 minutes later after I finished praying. My daughter got up and come out real fast in the living room. Mom, uh, something was tapping on the TV and the TV went off. And then the door was, uh, you know, crackling, going back and forth like you know, making a lot of noises and stuff. And so I got up because I know how they do. Um, listen, y'all, the spiritual realm is serious. And see, if y'all, if y'all can believe in ghosts and what is it? Uh, paranoid, paranoia activity. Hope I said it right. If y'all believe in that kind of stuff, but y'all don't believe in when people of God are speaking on the spiritual realm, some off. Some is off. If you can believe in paranoia activity and you don't believe in demons and angels, something is off with that. You got you to ask yourself what's going on with that. Okay. Because paranoia, paranormal activity is demons. Those are spirits. Okay. 
Let's just be clear on that. All right. So, um, let's go. So she come in and she got me. And then when she sat down to tell me what was going on, I said, yeah, cause I left the TV on. I don't know why it's off. And then, um, uh, I said, well, I know what's going on because I've seen that happen before. And I said, I know what's going on. And then uh, she goes to tell me, mom, I had this dream. I've never had this before. She said, it was a woman. She was dressed in red and black and she was throwing a bad tantrum. She said, mom, the lady looked like she had been caught. Y'all listen. When I said, wait a minute, what? I just stood still. I said, what happened? She said, Ma, she was flipping out. She was losing it. And I said, see how fast God work? You look at, look at God. She said, what do you mean? I said, I said, sweetheart, while you were resting, I was praying. I was praying against a particular woman the Lord had showed me. And he gave you the dream that obviously that prayer went through. Okay. She got the memo. The prayer went through. All right. So, um, prayer is a weapon, guys. Prayer is a weapon. And if you think that you can defeat a devil and you don't have a prayer life, you are sadly mistaken. A lot of these people with a lot of you guys, uh, they didn't know who you were in the spirit until they tried you. They had to try you. They had to try you. And they tried a lot of us for many years, but they was not aware of what you carried until they took it upon themselves to try to touch you in the spirit. And when they did that and they realized you had angels backing you, a lot of these people had to go back to the drawing board because they realized that the stuff that they was doing was not powerful enough for a true child of God. And make no mistake about it, just because they take breaks don't mean they're going to stop. They're never going to stop. This is going to be every day of your life that you are encountering warfare. Okay, I don't care how small it is or how great it is. In some part of your life, you will encounter warfare. That's why you should not wait for attacks to occur. You should have already had uh, prayers and stuff gone up to protect you from those attacks. All right. So later on this morning, well, wait a minute, last night, still in earlier, in the earlier hours, these spirits continue to try to bother me. Like they knew that I knew. And so they continue to try to bother me. So I had to get up at least three times to bond and rebuke these people, these spirits before they actually stopped. Okay. Um, and then this morning, my daughter got up and told me about some individual uh, that popped up in her dream that was trying to initiate her in something. Now, this is something that has happened a few times and even something that they tried to do with me. OK, and so when you have dreams like that, you got to rebuke those things. You got to cancel that stuff because you have devils that are trying to pull you over onto the opposite side. That's what they want. They want you to come over and leave God and to serve them. So when you have dreams of people trying to initiate you into something crazy, into some demonic mess and everything, you got to get up and know how to pray. You got to get up and rebuke things. You got to get up and cancel things. Okay. My daughter also saw in that dream, a particular celebrity. I'm not going to say who this person is, but if God told me to trust me, I would. Uh, I don't do what other people tell me to do. I, I have to follow what the Lord tells me. I have to be obedient. That's one thing. Uh, when you learn the Lord's voice, you're going to learn to be obedient. When God doesn't want me to talk about certain things, let me tell you, he'll make me very sick, extreme, extremely sick. And the sickness comes on at various different times. Okay. Sometimes it'll come because there are people he don't want me around or it'll come because they're, I'll, I'll see people's faces and something's on them and I get sick or if I'm about to post something or put something up and he doesn't want it up, I'll become instantly sick. I've learned the Lord's spirit through the years. That's what the isolation was for. I have had to learn certain things that I was not familiar with. And if not isolated uh, from people and not dealing with certain people, they would have contaminated or they would have brought harm to me or my uh, progress in what God was doing. Because a lot of people, um, when they see what's happening in your life, they will try. They will try to take from you and, and block you and hinder and stop you. 
But I'm telling you right now, if you are built up in the Lord and you are strong in Christ, it's nothing that they can do to stop what God's going to do. I don't care how long they go. I don't care how many years they edit. It's nothing that they're going to be able to do to stop what God is doing from the fulfillment of what God has said or spoken of over your life coming to pass. So basically in this dream, she saw a celebrity falling into hell. And when they went down, she said, Ma, they was going crazy. She said they were screaming in the door. She said the wailing was so loud that, you know, the person, she said the flames were hot and they were high and the person just fell straight down in there. And I told her when she got this morning, I said, God is not playing. I said, people finna be dropping and going up into hell. It is really not a game out here right now. It is really not a game out here right now. And I'm telling you guys, you guys have some people um, that are monitoring you and following you only because other people have went and gotten readings on you. They have sought out witches. They have paid money to find out who you are and to find out what God is doing with your life. And what they're doing is they're trying to find out what's going on so that they can throw a monkey wrench in the Lord's plans. If God wants to bring this favor your way or this favor or whatever God wants to do, you have witches that are going and seeking after these familiar spirits to get information on you guys in order to go back and do their voodoo, dance around the moon naked, whatever they doing. Wait for a particular moon, whatever that mess is that they go by. They wait for certain things to go down for them to do witchcraft in order to stop the progression of what God is doing in your life. Okay. Um, you got to get into prayer. You have to get into prayer. It is a must that you stay in the prayer. Okay. Because People, while they're aiming to uh, be successful in this world, it is great. It's greater things happening in this life than the only thing. It's only about being successful in this world. You need to be successful in the spirit realm to be able to live this life out on a day to day basis. You need to be successful with God in order to achieve the things that God wants you to do. And the way you become successful is through your time you spent uh, alone with God. Okay. Building yourself up in the things of God. That's how you be successful in defeating the enemy that's coming in to really kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he's doing. The Bible say it. I didn't, I didn't make that up. God says that that's what the thief comes to do to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay. So what it is, is all, all, all that he wants to do is take a lot of children of God out of their rightful places with God. Because he doesn't want for other people to become free. He doesn't want people free. I only got a few minutes. Let's see if I can get this in. Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication comes from me, declares the Lord. Second Thessalonians three and three, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. So it's the Lord that will protect you from all evil. Deuteronomy 31 and six, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them for it is the Lord, your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. I feel you Holy spirit. Um, Isaiah 41 and 10, fear not for I am with you. Be, be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. So it is God that will defeat all of the workings of the Satan and, and these demons against you. It is God through your relationship and through your prayer life, through your fasting life, through your study life is what will defeat these demons. Okay. Psalms 32 and seven, you are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Salah. Psalms 34 and seven, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them. Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Okay. There were other scriptures that the Lord wanted me to read. Let me see. I don't know if I have time. Um, but listen, guys, what God is doing in your life, if you call these devils can't stop you. 
They can watch you all day long until they blew in the face for the rest of their lives. They're never going to stop you, nor are they going to strip from you something God gave to you. Okay, nor are they going to do that. As for you, you meant evil against me. I feel you, but God meant it for good to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. That is Genesis 50 and 20, okay? So everything that's going on, all the bad and good is going to work out. It's going to work out in your favor, okay? God wants y'all guys to lean and trust in him, okay? These people are out here. They are doing this mess. They are doing this crazy mess relentlessly all day, every day. God says to stay focused on him. Keep your attention on him. OK, and allow him to defeat these enemies. OK, because at the end of it all, they're going to find themselves in hell. OK, because no man knows the day and time that they're leaving here. If they're currently constantly doing this, they're going to have an appointment with God. They're going to end up in hell. And you guys, all you have to do is be faithful to God and do what he called you to do. Now, I got to go because I, I'm running out of time, but please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I pray that this message has helped somebody. Uh, if there's anything you would like to discuss or you would like for me to discuss with you guys as far as my knowledge on certain things of what I know, you can leave it down in the comment section and I'll share with you uh, as much as the Lord allows me or what he gives me to share with you guys, okay? Um, I love you guys with the love of Christ. Please continue to stay prayed up. Uh, pray for what God has given you. Pray that, you know, it'll be a revival around the world. Pray that uh, you are protected. Pray over your families. Constantly pray and know that you will not be defeated. If God before you, he is more than the world against you. You will not be defeated. Okay. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Catch you guys on the next message. Bye.